we are multiple. Into each life is woven many lives. We carry the memory of others with us and their stories. As Sheswap Miwosh once wrote, our house is open and invisible guests come in and out at will. Memory is not a song, but a symphony in which our voice is just one voice. Magnetic North is a symphony dedicated to many voices. Remembrance Hour returns with the turning year. Memory, the powerful force of memory. Thomas Venslava, the poet and historian, along with his generation, took up the ancient practice of Ars Memoriae. They memorized not only poetry, but also forbidden history, science, and literature. This archive generation were perhaps rivaled only by their Renaissance for practitioners. Magnetic North often evokes the memory of those lost under the rubble of the 20th century, as well as countless buildings, streets, and monuments that no longer exist, their foundations dynamited. In Magnetic North, Venselova seeks to preserve the identities of an entire generation whose voices rise from these pages. We see the faces of Akhmatova, Mandelstam, Pasternak, as well as Josef Brodsky, Natalia Gorvaneskaya, Romas Katilias, and Ludmila Alexeyeva. There is perhaps a victory in the reconstruction of this generation, who were the target of spiritual and physical extermination. For as Akhmatova believe, it is memory that gathers up human history, good and evil. And like God, memory ultimately has the power to endure and in that way triumphs over history and its tyrants. There are those who do not think literature is a force, but as Mandelstam wrote, if that were true, others would not fear it. We are witnessing a new period of gathering forces that would erase the past, falsify it, or even falsify the present as we are living it. It is our hope that the stories contained in Magnetic North can provide a bit of light to contend with this growing darkness, so that we will remember in hard times that the spirit can endure, and that the constant magnetic north, the steady direction towards which the spirit points, is always there, and at its center the evergreen and flowering truth.